Hey you guys, Courtney here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me. If this is your first time with me, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, tap on the subscribe, and hit on that ringy dingy bell, and I will support you back. As always, if this is not your first time with me, then hey guys, what's going on? I'm so excited. So I am over the moon today. I have something super amazing to share with you guys, and I have three friends that have helped me with this all day, basically, because this is a this is a big thing. It's a big thing. I have found a dupe for the Huda Nudes palette, the brand new Huda palette, and it's amazing. It's a good dupe. It's a very good dupe, and it's a very good price. So, if you guys want to see the dupe and who it's from, what it looks like, swatches, and I look, you guys know the drill. Just keep on watching, and I'll be right back with you guys in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so before I get started with all this, um, I have three people that I really want to thank, and they've been helping me, like I said, with this um, pretty much all day. Um, my best friend, Sherry Ward. Um, uh, <laughs> these three people are so amazing, and they're also very close to me. Um, also, Krista B. and Marlo Keenan. Um, I will throw their information in the cards. They do have beauty channels, and if you would go and share some love to them if you haven't already um, I would really appreciate it because they um, they're amazing they have amazing content and I cannot thank them enough so thank you beautiful ladies I love you all <laughs> okay so don't freak out when I show you this but I have found a dupe for the Huda palette I had planned on purchasing the Huda palette I was trying to save some money to purchase it or waiting for it to go on sale because <laughs> I've been doing beauty on a budget you guys know this. I've been doing beauty on budget for a while. So I was looking on Amazon one day and I saw this and I was like, wait a minute, what is that? The brand? Don't be shocked when I tell you this. Don't just keep an open mind because the results are going to speak for themselves. The brand that this is is by Beauty Glazed. It is. And this is the palette. This is what it looks like. I've got now two palettes from Beauty Glaze that I really love. The one palette that I love um, from Beauty Glaze is the Jaclyn Hill Dupe, and it is for the, co the, the colorful one. Every other uh, Huda Beauty, the Desert Dusk and the Rose Gold, I bought in Beauty Glaze, and I did not like it. But this one, this one, this one is absolutely amazing. It is amazing. It is not subpar, that's for sure. Um, this cost me seven dollars and some change the price has gone up a little bit but it's still only ten dollars for this so ten dollars sixty five dollars or close to 70 with tax or tax and shipping or whatever I think yeah so it has this beautiful reflect on the front it's called the perfect eyeshadow and I know that it's similar to Huda, but it's a dupe, you know, so that's, that's just how dupes are. Um, it is very gorgeous. It's got this gold reflection on it and it's just very pretty. Um, it's a good size. So that uh, Beauty Glaze is a cruelty free brand. It is um, recyclable. Um, you can go to beautyglaze.com. They do have a website. Um, it does have mica in it, so if you do have an issue with mica, then you might not want to purchase this palette, or you might want to try it and just put a really, really good base. You know, it's, it's really up to you. Um, and how much is in here is basically, um, it's 18 grams or 0.63 ounces. Um, that's basically a gram. The, so each one of the, the pans is a gram. So I'm going to open it now, and it does not have a mirror, but it does have this... On, on here it's very pretty um, it, it says the beauty glaze perfect mix eyeshadow so I'm going to show this to you I have used this in a look because I did want to test it out before I was just you know if it wasn't a good dupe I wasn't you know it wasn't that big of a deal I wasn't going to do anything with it but it's an amazing dupe it is beautiful it is now y'all know I don't have like upgraded equipment I don't have like equipment that's like super amazing but 
I'm getting ready to show you some results. Um, these super, you know, reflecting pigments and all that, like they're, they're gorgeous. They really are. Um, what I found out about the palette, the original, the, not the original, but the brand Huda palette, <laughs> there's 10 mattes, there's four reflex, there's two glitters, and then there's one pressed pearl shade, which I think is very interesting. And the, the pressed pearl shade is beautiful. And then there's a concealer, which is something new and innovative. And I think it's a great idea. The reason why I'm thanking my friends is because, um, my friends actually helped me, you know, like, as far as swatching is I'm going to swatch these shades and I'm going to show you I'm going to swatch them on my arm right here and then I'm going to hold throw up a picture of some swatches that Sherry did and some swatches that Krista did actually Marlo bought this palette too and if she ends up going and doing a video on it then you will be able to see what it looks like on um, skin tones that are a little bit deeper but she has very beautiful 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 tan skin Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my arm. I'm going to get ready for these swatches. I'm super excited and I just, I can't wait. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So um, what I decided to do was um, I, I wrote down the actual colors that are in the Huda palette. Um, and hopefully I will have the, the two swatches here. Hopefully. <laughs> but I'm going to start up here with khaki this color and I'm going to swatch and I'm going to tell you um, what the color is on the Huda palette that is the same. So I'm going to swatch, start from here and I'm going to go across and then here, across, then here and across. So that's how I'm going to swatch and y'all know I'm just going to go ahead and warn you right now. I am not the best swatcher. Y'all already know that. Y'all already know that. <laughs> so, um, I do know that the concealer from what I understand from um, both of my friends who have it um, who I've talked to that the concealer is kind of thin in the Huda palette. It's not tacky. There you go. Tacky. It's not tacky. So, and it's thin. So, I am going to use the concealer here. I have already used it. It is not thin. It's not thin. It's actually um, kind of thick and it's very tacky. So, that's a good, that's a good thing, you know, for, for what you're using it for. So, I'm going to go ahead and start the swatching. So, the first color I am using is the color khaki and this is a color that is like I said it's going to be the same as my skin tone now on the Huda palette this color is called bear so this is khaki so you can't really see that very well on my skin just because <laughs> it's so much so similar to my skin you can see it a little bit <laughs> it's right there so if you compare that to the swatch you can see it's the same with both of them <laughs> So, all right, so the next color that's in here is, um, so I'll show you this. So this is khaki here, and then this is chrome. So we're going to go with chrome next, and this is one of the reflect shades. I'm hoping that I don't mess this swatching up. All right, so the color in the Huda palette is Crave. So yes, so that is the reflect shade. Um, and you can compare it to picture. The next one is peachy. And it's just a peachy color. And in the Huda palette, that is the color Play. This is a matte. Nice and buildable, and I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, on the Huda palette, it looks, these seem to be a little bit on, on the warmer side. Some of them. They, 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 they're not exactly the same, but they're so doggone close that it's scary. Um, the next one is called Rosy, and it is another reflex shade. Um, and it is called Fantasy in the Huda palette. So we have peach, peachy, and rosy. And but when you put it on your eye, it's so different. <laughs> so different. It's just different. All right. So the next color is called Marin. And it's like a it's like a really dark maroon, honestly. And it's called Love Bite in the Huda palette. And this is what it looks like. Very pigmented. Extremely pigmented. <laughs> very 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 pigmented it is gorgeous and then I'm gonna do the other one right next to it which is called brick and that's just like a like a brick red and in the Huda palette it is um, spanked <laughs> this one's very pretty too because it's just a lighter version of that so this is more like a wine burgundy and this is like a brick red next row I'm just gonna show you guys the row okay so the next row is bisque. All right, 
Bisque Blank Scarlet Dubai Gold and Passion. And I'll go, I'll tell you what the, the Huda colors are just when I'm doing it. Okay, so Bisque is like, it's, it's color lace in the Huda palette. And it's a very, like, super cool taupe. Thank you very much. Very pretty, very pigmented, very beautiful on the skin. Very beautiful. Um, the next color is another one of the Reflex. And this is color blank, but it's Daydream in the Huda palette. Oh! <laughs> I got it on the wrong. I got it on the other one. So yes, that is definitely gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. Um, the next one is called Scarlet. And that is the tickle color in the Huda palette. I'm really bad with swatching, y'all. I really am. I'm horrible at it. I would do it with a better swatcher. So there you have that. It's kind of like a dusty rose a little bit. It's a little warmer. Um, the next color is Dubai, Dubai, and that's actually one of the glitters. So, and this is the swatch for that. That's a glitter. It is one of my favorite colors in this palette. It is gorgeous. Um, it's got this super just, uh, it's got a shift to it. It's beautiful. Um, and the next one is gold. And in the Huda palette, Huda palette is called Infatuate. And this is a gorgeous color as well. And you guys know how I am about golds. But with this palette, it is super gorgeous. Look at that. It's not even gold. It's like a rust color. It's so pretty and it's so soft. And then we have Passion. And that is Pressed Pearl. Color. And that's the Pressed Pearl. The Passion is the Pressed Pearl color. And that is Kinky in the Huda palette. This is the one that I told you was used for layering. So I'm going to swatch it right here. I mean, it's still super, super pigmented. I mean, even though they say it's for layering and it can be built up. So I'll put, I'll put another swatch, a good swatch over that. So it's for layering. So that's that. So, so far we have the two rows and that, oh, look at that rosy reflect. I just can't believe how glittery and pretty these are. Oh, they are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, so the third row. I'm not even using the concealer. I'm not even using the concealer. <laughs> I'll show y'all what the concealer looks like on my hand with one of the glitters. So the next row is the concealer here. And then we have Camel, Cocoa, <laughs> Clay, Umber, and Raw. All right. So I'm going to skip the concealer for right now. We're going to go to Camel. And Camel is called Secret in the Huda palette. It is a matte. I think I'll start swatching right here now. So there's your camel, and that truly is like a camel color. On this side. Very, very pretty. I love it. And I mean, if you, I mean, I'm like, I'm gonna try to keep these the pictures up so you can just kind of compare. And you gotta remember, you know, pick, there's a difference between pictures and skin tones. So, and then me being a bad swatcher, that doesn't help the situation. <laughs> All right. So the next color is cocoa, which is like a dark brown. It's a cooler dark brown though. And in the Huda palette, it is called a uh, tease. So we'll put that right here. That's a really pigmented one. So you can see that. And then the next one is called Clay, and that is actually the warmer brown, in my opinion. That is the warmer brown, and it is called um, Raw in the Huda palette. So there's your warmer brown. All right, and then Umber. <laughs> Umber is the last reflect. And I'm telling you guys, this, this color right here will blow your mind. This is my second favorite color. Well, it's probably my favorite color. I don't know. They, they're all great. They're all great. They're all amazing. Um, so this one is called Charmed in the Huda palette. And this is, I believe, the showstopper. It is the show. For me, it is the, show, the showstopper. That and the chrome color, which is Crave. Um, but this is called Umber and Charmed. And this is a reflect. Oh my gosh, look at that, y'all. I mean, it's almost like foil duochrome with pink in it. It's just so gorgeous. As far as the colors go, is the color Raw, and it is the color Teddy in the Huda palette. Finger. 
but it is just another soft brown and that's why I would call this like a soft brown and these I think were just meant to be build up shades because the showstoppers in this palette are you know of course the reflex the glitters and everything so that's it so I've got all my swatches um I just don't know what to say other than wow <laughs> you know it's, it's great um I am going to do a look with this um but I do want to show you the concealer and how that looks so um the concealer in the Huda palette is called concealed and then in this one it's called concealer you can actually see it because it see and it's not thin at all and it's tacky it is it's tacky so um and then I'm gonna put the put the, bro the rosy color over it because when I did my swatch I don't think it really did the rosy um much justice here so we're gonna put that over the concealer all right there we go so now you can see how beautiful that is over that concealer so the concealer, you know, it's, I think that it was meant to be for cut creasing and, you know, just, just basically a beautiful idea. I just think it's great. And I do like the consistency of this concealer in this palette. And I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to start working. Um, if you want to purchase this palette, um, I would go ahead and purchase it now because I don't know how long this is going to be once, you know, once everybody starts seeing this, um, for $10 or less. I mean, look at that, you know, now I will say, you know, it's the Huda Pal probably does have a better reflect, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a $70 palette. It should, but being said, beauty on a budget and the fact that that the quality of these shadows are even what they are at the price and how beautiful they are it just shocks me I'm, I'm in shock over it so I am going to go ahead and do a look with this palette and I cannot wait um, I'm gonna do a different look on each eye so you guys can get an idea of how it works and I cannot wait to show you Eyes, so I'm gonna get some concealer on I do want to do a cut crease like I said on one side so I'm gonna do that um, but I really feel like like I said with one eye I want to do one thing and one eye I want to do something else I have some NYX eye base and this is white um, the concealer in here is it's, it's quite peachy so if you're wanting to do like a cut crease and you're wanting to do like um like darker colors this concealer is perfect like for the browns and stuff in here even for that dark umber color which is the charm color in the Huda palette um, but I want to do a cut crease with lighter colors and then I want to do a regular look with the darker colors I'm gonna cut crease with this and that way I can bring the colors out of these shimmers um, the lighter ones and then when i go to do my dark eye over here i'll be able to show you guys the dark how it you know it turns out with the dark colors so i'm going to go ahead and get my eyes prepped right now i'm hoping they're not going to water <laughs> so hopefully that won't happen so i'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes and i'll be right back like i said i am going to do a cut crease on this side and we're going to get started with that first do that. so i'm going to put this in fast forward and i'll show you what i'm doing and then when we get to the cut crease i will stop but i cannot wait for you guys to see how these colors blend out and how beautiful they are so here we go
Okay, so I went ahead and just diffused a lot of color up through here and I'm going to do the cut crease. Um, I am going to do the cut crease with the white base. Like I said, the white base for this because this is going to be a lighter cut crease. I definitely want to uh, showcase uh, the blank color in here, which is just this one of the reflex, this color. And I also want to showcase um, either probably one of the glitters, probably either this one, this one, or this other reflex. Once I do the cut crease, I'm going to go in and fix stuff, and I'm going to blend some more, and we are going to just get this show on the road. So, okay, so before I do my cut crease, I'm going to take a Q-tip, and I'm going to roll it around in a wipey like this, and I don't want the white um, from this to actually like smudge and turn into like pink. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get some of this color off first before I start cutting the crease but it gives you a nice guide as well so here we go with the cut crease Okay, so I know this looks really crazy right now, but it's okay. I promise it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay, because the eye base that I just used is so tacky, what I'm going to do is, actually this is something that I kind of picked up from my friend Marlo because she does it. Um, I do it on some looks. It's usually with lighter cut creases. So with darker cut creases, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and blend. I'm going to blend some of this in here by tapping it. Let's let's use that layering um, pressed pearl right here, right here, and try to kind of feather a little bit of that color. Yeah, that's a really good color to do that with. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with the rosy color, which is this one, kind of in the middle. It's going to be really pretty. So then I'm going to go in um, with the blank color, and that's that super, super pink color, and I'm going to just pop that on the rest of there. This reflect color is just, it's, it's gorgeous. It really is. This blank color, I just love it. So as far as fallout goes, um, it has a little bit of fallout, not on the shimmer, not on the shimmer. I mean, it just depends on how you apply it, but it does have a little bit of fallout on the mattes, but it, <laughs> I don't even have to tell you guys what, what, what my answer for that is. You know, you know what my answer is going to be. And I'm going to kind of feather this a little bit. All right. So I'm going to go in and do a little bit of blending as far as fixing goes, but as far as my cut crease, um, you know, <laughs> I just cannot get over how beautiful these colors are, y'all. And I am also going to do my lower lash line. I use the bisque color, which this color is so very interesting, you guys. This color right here, this one, this one, it's, it's, it's like, it's, I swear, it's like taupe dusty rose. It really is. It's like a dusty rose and it's beautiful. I love it. I am going to go into the maroon color, to the darker color. And I'm going to smoke the bottom lash line out with that. I'm going to take the khaki color, which is the lightest color in here. Um, it does not have a white shimmer, but brow bone. Okay, so I've got everything done pretty much um, that I'm going to do on this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on the other eye, and I want to show you guys how I get there. And i got to clean a couple brushes off or do a color change on a couple of my brushes. And then as soon as I get done doing that, I will come back with you guys, and we will. I'll be in fast forward starting on my other eye. So...
Okay, guys, do you want to see the finished look? I've never done this before, but I'm going to do it this time. This is so beautiful. Do you like it? I think it looks amazing. Um, I was able to put on some liner and some lashes and just pull everything together, and I just think that it came out gorgeous. I really do. I love it. Um, I can't say anything else about this palette except for it gets my stamp of approval, and it is worth every penny every single penny every single small penny that i paid for it um i don't know if there's any more dupes out there i have seen some single shadows and i have seen a couple of people um who thought that maybe they found palettes that were similar but i have not seen this palette um in a video as a dupe so i mean it's it's new you know it's new so i'm glad i was able to pick it up and share it with you guys i hope you guys you know enjoy it and i hope you guys um, you know, we'll get it if you like it, you know, but you all have to be on a budget to buy this palette. I mean, anybody can buy this palette, you know, you know, if, if it'd be a great gift, you know, anything. I, this is not sponsored by Beauty Glaze, by the way. Y'all should know that already. <laughs> but anyways, y'all's feedback means the world to me. So please leave me comments. Leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want to get the Huda palette and, and maybe you saw this and it, it helped you decide or... Um, you know, if you have the Huda palette and, you know, you think this is similar or not, you know, I, want, I do, I really value y'all's opinion, so I want to know. Um, also, thank you so much to my friends, um, my best friend Sherry, um, she helped me with swatches, um, Krista B also helped me with swatches, and my friend Marlo, uh, she's helped me with some pictures, and these ladies are just amazing, so don't forget, I threw them in the cards, don't forget to go and check those ladies out, they are absolutely awesome. I have a holiday giveaway so if you want to enter the giveaway you have to be subscribed and it is a collab with Shannon Mooney Just, so I will link that down below so you guys can go down there and enter a giveaway if you like if you like the video please give me a big like tap the subscribe button and hit the ring ring any bell for notifications I do upload on the regular I don't have a schedule but I do upload a lot <laughs> I think I upload a lot <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, and thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys, but I will not argue with you, so that's my slogan. I hope you have a wonderful night, day, whenever you're watching me, and thank you so much, so much for watching the video. Bye, you guys. <laughs>